Hey guys, Chatty CRC back with you here on the channel. And if you've been following the Reverb uh, build series, you know that I have the JB F4 FC. Yes, the Bardwell flight controller from Race Day Quads inside the Reverb here. And I've put out a couple little videos about it because um, I haven't seen too many people building with it yet. So I just kind of like to put out little things that I've noticed. And there's two things that I wanted to talk about here real quick. Um, one thing is I am super appreciative that this thing is not drenched or covered in either that conformal coating or whatever it is that is on top of some flight controllers. I know some of my Betaflight boards and the DYS boards, you know how you're kind of like soldering on the board and you see all of this stuff this this liquid just kind of bubbling off that you need to really clean you, you know you think it's like solder flux and maybe some of it is but it's just some kind of like coating or something um there's none of that on here so the flight controller looks super duper clean um, if you go back and look at some of my videos on the actual build, if you want to look at the controller itself, you can see that it's just not a mess. Some flight controllers just end up looking like a mess when you're soldering these things, whether you're losing, using low heat, high heat, whatever. Now the second thing is, and I don't really know you know if this is flight controller related or not I'm just kind of speculating based off of his video as well if you watched his video when he was uh, showing his build video with the control flight controller you notice that he said that he took the Mach 2 um, video transmitter and wired it up to uh, VBAT power because of he wasn't worried about the filtering because the Mach 2 has great video filtering and everything like that built into it so he didn't need the extra filtering that's built into the flight controller so i did a video showing how awesome the fpv was looking on site uh, inside this thing now that was inside here at 25 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts when i took it outside i noticed when i cranked up my power to 500 and 800 to start doing some mid-range testing and stuff I noticed that the video started getting really bad. Um, I didn't know if it was my antenna, if it was a connection, what was going on or what. What it ended up actually being was the flight controller just couldn't handle uh, the power that the Unify was demanding from it. So when I would put the Unify into 800 milliwatts, it actually would just shut off the flight the power output or something for the flight controller or the voltage would just clip so nothing would just come through with the filter um, but then when I would back it back down to 500 it would come on but it would be a little wavy and look a little bad and then at 225 it looked just fine so I actually ended up taking the Unify and wiring it to VBAT and I don't have any problems I am picking up a little bit of extra noise now which I can show you in some uh, video whenever I get uh, some more time to fly this thing because the polar bomb thing is just ruining and wrecking havoc here for us FPV flyers. But that's just something I wanted everybody to be aware of when you're building and soldering this up is that if you're gonna be running a higher power VTX, 500, 600, 800, whatever, for mid-range or even if you just want to run that power, anything greater than 200, you definitely want to go off of VBAT if you have a high voltage uh, type of video transmitter, because um, it doesn't seem like it, it plays nice with the flight controller. And we don't want all of that electronic issues going on inside there with everything else that's going on, because that could create issues. So. Definitely check that out before you go fly. If you've already got it wired up that way or whatever, see if yours is doing that too. Um, if not, like I said, just go ahead and hook it up to VBAT. Everything will be fine. You're still gonna get some kind of video filtering because your video is going in and it's coming out. So it should be all good. 
But that's just a couple more things that I wanted to point out. And the more I get to fly this and everything else, the, I'll let you guys know what uh, I'm experiencing with the reverb and uh, with the the flight the Joshua Bardwell flight controller. So that's it. Talk to you guys later.